People usually ask me, how do you manage to know multiple frameworks and how come you're able to teach them well? So that's what I'm going to do today. Today, I'm going to tell you how to learn any framework fast. Now, when I say framework, I'm referring to UI frameworks, frameworks in the JavaScript ecosystem like React, Vue, Svelte, um, you heard about SolidJS and Angular and any other framework that's out there or might come up. This is how I would learn any of them if I were to do that today. First thing is, okay, I want to get started with this framework. I want to learn this particular framework. How can I set up an application? That's it. So uh, there is a way to set up an application with this framework, like we have with Create React App or Angular CLI for Angular, the one for Vue, Next.js, Create Next App, and all the rest. How can I set up an application? That's the first thing I do. Next is, okay, now I've been able to set up my application. How about components? How does this framework handle components? How can I create my components and how can I use them? So that's the second thing. First, we set up our application and secondly, how can I create and handle components? Are there components that are already there as an example for me? How do I change this? How do I export and import components and all that? How do I use components inside components and all the rest? The next thing after I've learned um, how to set up the application and I've learned how to handle components, what of state management? That's very important. So that's the number three thing. How do I handle state locally? So I have a component. How do I handle state inside this component so that I have data and I have that data being used in my UI. So whenever I update this data, I want my UI to get updated also. How do I do that? How do I handle state? in my application very important and that's not all we have local state management and we have global state management so how do i handle global state management in this framework so that i can share data between different components between multiple components i can share data across my application how do i handle global state management do i need an external library for this or is this something that comes in build with this framework so that's the third thing i want to do now after i've learned about state management okay cool i've seen how to handle state how about props how can i handle props in my application so how can i use props in my component and then supply those props outside my component that's very important to know. Talking about UI frameworks, props, state management, setting up the application, very important. Now we've talked about four things. The next one is data fetching. Cool, I know how to set up my application. I've learned about components, handling states in my application and props. Okay, how do I fetch data in my app? That's also really important. Am I going to need an external library for this? Or does the framework come with this functionality in build? Very important. And how do I do that? How can I fetch data from REST APIs? And how can I fetch data from GraphQL APIs? I need to understand these different things. Is there an easy way to handle um, GraphQL in this framework? How do I do that? Do I need an external library and all the rest? Now, after that, oh, I'm able to fetch data now. Okay, how can I use that data? So iteration, very important. The different components have different ways of handling iteration. It's different with Svelte, it's different with React, different with Angular. How can I handle iteration so that um, when I get my data, I can use like an array of data, array of objects. I want to use that to display uh, multiple elements in my page. How do I do that? That's the sixth thing I learned. Now, after I've learned about iteration, another very important thing is routing. Okay, so how can I handle routing? I have different pages in my application. How can I navigate to these different pages? This is also very important. Do I need to install an external library to handle this? Or does this functionality come inbuilt with this framework? How do I do that? By now, I'm really getting a complete application. After routing, the next thing I want to understand is server-side rendering. 
Does this framework provide functionality for server-side rendering? Can I create server-side rendered apps with this framework? Is that possible? Um, like we have Svelte Kit for Svelte, we have frameworks like Next.js and Gatsby for React. How easy is this to implement in this particular framework? And how can I do it? So you want to think about SSRO if you're working with like blogs, um, e-commerce applications, or basically anything that you need SEO for. Now, another very important thing is TypeScript. TypeScript, what's the support for TypeScript like in this framework? How can I get TypeScript? I like to use TypeScript when building applications, when building large applications. So how can I use TypeScript in this framework? Do I need to do extra things to configure TypeScript for this um, framework? Do I need to install extra libraries, extra configurations and all the rest? How do I do that? That's the number nine thing. With this, I'm already getting my complete application. But one last thing, which is also very important, authentication. How can I handle authentication in this framework? That's also very important. You want to find out um, when you're in a framework like Next.js or Svelte or Gatsby or Angular and all the rest. You want to find out how you can handle authentication in this particular framework. Well, these are the 10 first things I learned. And these are like the building blocks of every framework. And after this, there, there are going to be so many other things in between and inside and after. But we want to get this turn first things and we start getting to know other things as we build. So I've learned these 10 things. OK, I want to start building my application. I can even start building my application before I learn these 10 things, but I still have them in mind so that I'm building with the goal of learning this and this and this. Now, after that, we keep building and then we keep learning all the different things inside this framework. So that's how it's done. Those are the 10 things I look out for first when learning any framework. And did I miss any important thing? Please let me know in the comment section below and wait, wait, wait. Yeah, hit the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button. I really need that. See you in my next video.